Hey, hey, everybody. Danny here, knee deep in snow today, but super stoked to give you a tour of our listing at 107 Hamilton Place. This one is really cool. Lakeside bungalow, fully renovated, amazing views of the gunks. Yep, those are the gunks behind me. It's pretty freaking awesome. And, and Tilson Lake access. Let's go check her out. So here we are at 107 Hamilton Place. Adorable bungalow. I'll say off the bat, fully, fully renovated. Wait till you see the inside, but still retains all of this 1907 original charm and character. Now, this property is in Wallkill and it's on a little over a quarter of an acre. Uh, but what it lacks in uh, acreage, it more than makes up with this view of the gunks. Can't wait to show you the view off the back deck. It is pretty spectacular. And what you see down there as well is Tilson Lake. And so this house has deeded Tilson Lake access which is amazing. So it's a short walk down to the lake. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, some of you may have heard uh, Tilson Lake had some um, damage with the dam and it was gonna cost a lot of money to repair. And there's, you might find some stuff on the internet about them wanting to drain the lake instead of repairing. But it turns out that the cost to repair is just a fraction of what they originally thought. So it seems like it's all gonna work out great, but advise everyone to do their research on that. Let's walk around. I am going to kick off my snow boots, put my mask on, and we're going to go inside. And we're inside. So you walk into this really Spacious living area, high ceilings. And so let me start out by saying that this entire home has been fully renovated, exceptionally renovated. Everything's meticulously done uh, by a well-respected local builder. Um, you can really sense that when you're in here. Maple flooring. And then what I love about this house is just, it feels so, so, so spacious. And it really is a great house for having guests over. I mean, there's just tons of room to spread out. We'll show you all the bedrooms. There's three of them. There's two bathrooms. This really great open kitchen. It's super bright in here. It's also a great loft space up there. You've got skylights, super tall ceilings. Let's take a peek back at the living area. Again, lots of windows, lots of height, lots of space, lots of light. Really feels nice in here. You've got this wonderful wood burning stove sitting on this natural stone. Venetian plaster detail in the wall there. And here's some of those meticulous details I was talking about. This wood floor is actually scribed around the stone. Perfectly scribed. Very cool. Trying to go a little slower for you guys so I don't get you dizzy. Let's go into one of the bathrooms. Hi. Nice bright bathroom, walk-in shower. Really large bathroom too. And you have one bedroom here, which is off that main living space, closet. Window that looks out into the woods. It's so pretty now with the snow. It's a queen size bed. Heading into the kitchen. 
Wonderful stainless steel appliances, stainless steel farm sink. Love this terrazzo-like countertop. Frosted glass cabinets. You've got your range and your oven. And this L-shaped island, huge island. Wine fridge. Lots of seating around the island. You could, <laughs> I mean, you see, this is why I think this is a really great house for entertaining and having friends over and having guests come over for the weekend. Cause there's just a lot of room to hang out. And I mean, in this kitchen too, because doesn't everyone just usually like end up in the kitchen, especially now in winter time when we're not going outside as much. Let's check out this other bedroom. Again, lots of windows, super, super bright. This is a big bedroom closet there. It's got a king size bed, lots of room in this one. This I guess would be your primary bedroom. Nice little seating area here. You know what, let's, uh, we're here, so we might as well go up and check out the loft. So again, here there's just like more space for having guests over. This is a queen size bed, so this is a pretty nice size loft. Got a little gate there. Nice little seating area off to this side. Nice light up here too. Looks down to the rest of the house. Going down the stairs, folks. So yeah, so that was the loft. So you can see up there, nice skylights. There's so much natural light in here, it's great. Got this little seating area here off the kitchen. Nice big bathroom here. Very bright as well. Great windows, great light. Double sink, nice big soaking tub with jets. Pull out all the stops. Washer dryer, very importante. I love how everything in this house also just like it's so open and everything just, all the spaces just flow into each other so well. So, you know, you're in the kitchen, you can talk to your guests over in the living area. You can see who's up in the loft. You can see straight out onto the deck and the gunks. You've got this great separate dining room here which could be a home office if you're not into formal dining and this space is awesome because it has this enormous window that just looks out onto the ridge there and you can see all of the gunks it's amazing nice double french doors here Take a peek at this other bedroom. It's closet space. Again, look at all of these windows. Straight shot onto the Shawangunk ridge there. So pretty. So pretty. And then you have these sliding by stores and head out onto this deck so you see how much I can walk out here without shoes there's snow everywhere but there's a little bit of floor space nice big long deck as you can see there's an there's a six person table here and there's still plenty of room to spare and so let's check out some of that view the gunks in the lake. Let's put a little bit over here. Some 
access to the front yard here. The view of this deck is amazing. I mean, what a way to like spend your days lounging out here, your nights having guests over. Really great. All right. That's pretty much it. Bye.